Alex, hi, thanks for taking the time to be with us today. How would you assess the way that your postseason so far in this CS has gone in terms of production? Uh, well, I think uh, I feel good. I think I've, I've thrown the ball well. My first two outings was, was a lot of fun to get back out there uh, these last two nights uh, and be a part of yesterday. I would imagine it was being a fun being a part of yesterday when you're sitting there in the bullpen kind of seeing what your offense does in the first three innings how much can you appreciate that just from a fan perspective I mean it was huge I mean I, I think uh, everybody was uh, pretty hyped up after the game last night you know it was uh, such an incredible answer after those first two games uh, you know it, it really felt like that was the first game of the year that we kind of put it all all together on in all, all aspects, you know, we, we were hyped up, you know, I think one of the hard things, uh, you know, for this, for this team and the organization is, you know, you get so used to, you know, you, you win the division every year, you make it, make a deep run in the postseason. A lot of years, you have a lot of guys that have a lot of experience uh, in these types of games. And so, uh, you know, that's great, but, but also it can, it can become, uh, you, can, you can start to feel stagnant a little bit as far as you like, at least speaking for myself, you know, passion wise or like that ability to get up for a big series and a big game when uh you know things like this have become almost expected and, and normal and so you know they punch us in the face those first two games and uh you know seeing how we came back in the ninth uh, uh of that second game and how we came out in the first inning yesterday I mean it was one of the one of the cooler uh games I've been a part of in my whole career uh, uh on any level and so it was a lot of fun to fun to watch and hopefully we'll come out and do the same thing in the night. Is that something, Alex, where you give yourself a talking to, you have a team meeting, or do you need that punch in the face to, to kind of wake you up a little bit? It woke us up. Uh, you know, I think that was apparent yesterday. Um, and now we got a series. So we got 2-2 two -two on the mound tonight. Uh, I think everybody's pretty juiced up to have him out there in, in, in a big game four, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll play our, play our best game. Finally, for me, Alex, how much do you guys need Kirsch to be Kirsch tonight to even up this series? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the thing with Clayton is, I mean, you pretty much know what you're going to get every time he, he steps on the mound. You know, he's going to give us a chance to win. You know, he's going to uh, compete his ass off, and uh, hopefully we'll go out there, score some runs early, uh, you know, strike first, and kind of go from there. And we got a lot of fresh arms in the bullpen. I think we're set up nice, and so uh, it's, it's going to be a great game for tonight. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Next question is from Dave Vassay. Go ahead. Hey Alex, Mookie actually said the same thing after that first game in San Diego in that final regular season series about the Padres punching you guys in the mouth and responding with the next two games. Uh, would you say those are the two moments where you guys fell into the trap you described and have come out of it? Um, yeah, yeah, in a sense, for, uh, for sure. You know, I think that these first two games with the Braves, uh, you know, was a, was a little bit different than the San Diego series. I think, you know, I think – and as far as uh, a talent level and playing field, I, the Padres are a great team. They've got a lot of good players, uh, but they're still, they're still pr pretty young. Uh, the Braves, you know, the, they're starting to really kind of piece it all together. You know, they, they're, they're a little short uh, in, the, in the rotation with some injuries and things like that, but they got a great core. They got some uh, uh, MVP caliber players, Freddie, uh, Acuna, those guys, and I think they match up really well with us, and, and they came out and did their thing the first two, first two games, and, and you kind of show up to the park, you know, that day three yesterday and like, all right, we got to strap it on and, and, and kind of uh, put our game face on, go out there and play our, play our best game. Cause if not, you know, we're going to be out of here quick. And so it was nice to see those guys step up to the plate, you know, from the first pitch, you know, the energy was there, the passion was there. Uh, the do or die was there, you know, it, it was just a lot of fun to be a part of. I was so proud of our guys yesterday. I, I really was, you know, you score the, that many runs early, uh, even in a postseason game. I mean, you pretty much know it's over for the, for the most part. And so, you know, guys, you know, can give, especially the hitters, you know, it's easy to give pitches away. It's easy to give at-bats at away, you know, just because you're kind of on cruise control. But, I mean, I've never been a part of a game in my whole, in my whole professional career that we ha a team had that big of a lead that I was on. And you, every single hitter, the entire game, start to finish, grinded every single pitch of every single at-bat. Um, and those things matter, you know. Th those things matter a lot. We made their guys do a lot of pitches. Uh, you know, they didn't use a lot of their – uh, their, t their top arms yesterday, but I mean, th those things are super important, you know, grinding at bats out. Every moment matters in, in every single game when, in the postseason. So it, it was really special to watch yesterday. Hey, Alex, is there any parallels between this team and the 2017 team that came a game short for the World Series? 
Oh, that's a tough question, Dave. Um, I mean, definitely the t probably the two most two most talented teams I've been on. I mean, th this team uh, currently, the 2020 team, is definitely the most talented uh, team that, I, that I've been a part. I think for me personally, you know, you've been kind of short, weird year, short season. You know, we're just we've we've kind of out talented everyone up until up until this point. Uh, you know, and really the end of that game too, uh, when we tried to make a comeback and how we answered yesterday, uh, you know, I think that checked a lot of boxes about is this the best team I've I've been a part of? Because there's a there's for sure a difference in the most talented team the guys have played on it and the best team, and you know it's it's scary starting to see the two kind of converge and combine. Um, uh, and it's it's going to be a lot of fun I think the rest of the way, and hopefully uh, we'll keep the momentum from last night and and keep going from there. Thank you. Next question is from Ron Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Um, Jock and Max were obviously part of that offensive barrage yesterday. Do you think there's something to guys who seem to be able to pick things up in October, regardless of maybe how the last couple months had gone for them? Yeah, I mean, we, we got guys that love the moment, you know, and that's uh, not something that everybody possesses. And I mean, they don't call it Jocktober. Uh, for they call it October for a reason, so uh, it was nice to see him get a few knocks his first few games and him put one out of the park, put a great swing on a ball yesterday. And then, uh, you know, Max, you know, he didn't have the year that he wanted, I don't think personally, but you know, he's, st he's still a pretty damn good player, uh, you know, and you can just see his comfort level continuing to climb uh, as the postseason, postseason has gone on. And I mean, the two balls he's hit the last two games, I mean, I mean, that's the Max Mun Muncie we all have come to know and love, and so. Uh, it's nice to hopefully see uh, those guys get hot at the right time. And then for you, I mean, how are you feeling after going, you know, back to back? Obviously, not something you had to do uh, at all this year. And just physically, how you doing? Yeah, I, I feel good, man. You know, it's, it's definitely a little bit sore, sore today. Uh, I don't know the last time I went back to back. It's been a long time, I think. Uh, but I felt good. I feel like my stuff's good, and it's just nice to be contributing uh, in the NLCS uh, in the postseason again. So hopefully. I'll, I'll, I'll be okay today, probably down today, and then back in there in the next couple and hopefully help, uh, you know, us win a series. Next question from Jorge Castillo. But... Alex, obviously go travel, uh, you know, for this last series, this series next, if you guys go that far. But um, playing all these games in a row and just kind of staying in this bubble, like what kind of grind is this both physically and mentally? Uh, it's just a little bit different. I mean, it's it's – during the regular season, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll play upwards of 21, 21 straight. Uh, it just doesn't matter as, as much as each game matters uh, right now, especially in the NLCS in the postseason. So, I mean, it's something we haven't really thought about a lot. I mean, I think we take pride on our depth and how many good players we have. I mean, I was, I was talking with somebody the other day just about our rotation. I mean, it's just – I mean, it's, ins it's insane. We have – pretty much have five guys that would probably be the number one on, on most teams in, in baseball. I mean, it's just the depth – the position players, the bullpen, I mean, it's just it's, – it's a special group. Uh, there's no doubt about it, uh, which is the reason we've gotten to this point. And hopefully over the course of a, a seven-game series, you know, uh, if it goes to seven games, uh, our depth will shine through and, and kind of propel us uh, to the World Series. Yeah, that was actually my next question. Like, even when you guys were down 0-2, do you guys just had the confidence that your depth was going to prevail um, in this series? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it was – we needed we needed to have a big game yesterday, and it was – it was – incredible to see how we answered and came out uh, with the energy uh, and, and the wherewithal to kind of bounce back from those first two games yesterday. And uh, we, we know the talent that's on this team. We know the depth that's on this team. Uh, we feel confident uh, in every single person that we are running out there, whether it's out of the pen, the rotation, starting lineup every day. Uh, it, it's been a blast to be a part of. And you don't, you don't really get to truly see that depth shine through like you do in the postseason. So I think over the course of this series, it's going to be a, a lot of fun to watch. Thanks, Alex. Next question is from Bill Shaking Goat. Uh, Alex, I know you're aware from not only playing for the Braves, but from going to college in Georgia, that folks there remember the 14 straight division titles and the one World Series, and now the Dodgers, as you mentioned, eight straight division titles. I'm wondering, do you buy into the Billy Bean theory that the postseason is simply a crapshoot, or are there things teams can do to make the playoffs come out differently than the regular season? I don't know if I would describe it as a crapshoot. Uh, I think that obviously getting hot at the right time. I mean, I mean, m subtracting this year where you have half the league in, in the play in the in the, in the playoffs, 
I mean, you pretty much are going into the postseason and all the teams that enter the postseason on a regular year are really quality clubs. And, I mean, you, you get in, in the right frame of mind at the end of the season, heading into the postseason. Like, I mean, look at the Nats last year. They're a perfect example. I mean, uh, you know, it's just about hitting your stride at the, at the right time. And, you know, we've kind of, after the last two days, you know, it kind of feels like we got a lot of guys like teetering on that that edge of re really starting to move into uh, a, a pretty good, uh, you know, cycle, uh, whether it's pitching or hitting, whatever, whatever it may be. And so uh, I think there's things you can do to combat and basically set yourself up for success. But, I mean, definitely there's a lot of chance in the postseason for sure. I mean, uh, we, we've seen it. And I think people forget like, winning a World Series is really hard, like really, really hard. Um, it's not easy to do. And to just be in the conversation every, every season is a privilege. Uh, and now I'm hoping that we'll be able to get over that hump and, and bring a title back to L.A. Next question is from Sarah Spencer. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Um, earlier you mentioned uh, depth a little bit, um, but you also talked about fresh arms in the bullpen. How encouraging is it, or did you guys have any – conversations about kind of, you know, being able to jump on the starter early last night and, and making them churn through some of their arms uh, in the bullpen. Yeah, I mean, I think they did a good job maneuvering around it. You know, the game got out of hand early, so they were able to kind of save some some of, uh, you know, their, their more higher leverage guys uh, from throwing yesterday. But, you know, they have – they don't have a lot of starter depth. You know, I think it's, it's apparent. And so to have two – to their long guys, you know, throw a lot of pitches yesterday, uh, you know, it handicaps them a little, a little bit. And so hopefully we'll go out today. We got all our, all our guys, uh, you know, our high leverage guys are fresh uh, for the game today, you know, and we'll be, we'll be prepared, we'll be prepared for whatever they throw our way and hopefully we'll jump on them early and we can, you know, kind of manage the game uh, kind of like we did yesterday, but uh, you know, it'll be a great test again. Uh, it'll be exciting to see Clayton go out there and do his thing. And then uh, hopefully we'll wind up on top tonight, even the Thank series. You. I got one more. Go ahead, TV Atlanta. Hey, Alex. I uh, appreciate you doing this. Uh, just a quick question. We we obviously you you've you know been a couple of years now since you last pitched for the Braves, and of course UGA before that. Are there any specific thoughts you have you know at this point in your career if you face the Braves, whether it's in a game or a series or whatever, or are you kind of far removed from that? to where it's just kind of like another team now? Uh, you know, every year that that goes by, uh, you know, it's more and more like another team. It's it's obviously – there's not a ton of, like, holdovers in the in the lineup with the Braves uh, from when I was there. I mean, there's there's a few. Uh, but they're almost an entirely new team, so it's it's not as bad. But, I mean, obviously, going against, going against Freddie and, you know, I've, I've played against Azuna forever and – I know a lot of those guys personally over, over there. And so sometimes it, it is a little bit weird, but, you know, you try to block all that out, uh, you know, especially in the postseason because you got a job to do. But uh, it definitely is a different dynamic for sure when you go up against uh, a team that you formerly played with or guys you formerly played with.